by the shadow that you can see is from the speakers which are hung from the center of the stadium and the match starts to a crescendo of whistles and an early touch of the ball for Pablo Larios the sun vertical overhead it's high noon in Mexico City Petrov, the number four, has moved across to the left side. He played on the right in the last match against Argentina, leaving Zrabkov to play on the right. The Bulgarians, as expected, starting with three up. Getov is the furthest forward at the moment. Espana doing the covering work on the right side for the Mexicans. A fair number of early conversations. First free kick goes to the side from Eastern Europe. So far, been a rather faceless team. Been a little like some of the modern buildings of Eastern Europe. Oh, and Pablo Larios had to get across very quickly then to deny get off. Didn't actually need to touch the ball, but he had to move like lightning. He was looking for the cross, which didn't come. Thomas Boy, the captain of Mexico. Straight to Zlevkov. Sanino not getting in the challenge. First touch for Hugo Sanchez. Aguirre is sweeping it wide the other way. Where is Amador? Square from him is Thomas Boy. Five players forward. Sanchez in the middle, away by Dimitrov. Book was high, the appeal was granted. Arabov's clearance counting for nothing. And the Mexicans have a free kick some 25 yards out, a little bit right of center. Thomas Boy on the ball. Straight into the wall by Negrete, but that's a good shot in the second one. And who is it says he can't kick a ball with his right foot? That really was a very good effort and a fine save by Mikhailov. And the action has further lifted the crowd, further enhanced the expectation. If not a good corner away by Sadkov, but Pashev with no opportunity of collecting. Bobby Charlton would have appreciated that free kick there from Negrete. He's talking about the absence of two-footed players in our football. No question about two-footedness there. Sanchez on his own and well surrounded. Oh! Goalkeeper very determined and very sure. Free kick has been given. And Dimitrov managing to get a little piece of it. What a difference in physique between the two. Dimitrov, the tallest player from the Bulgarian side and the most experienced. Espana. Really, the Mexicans only playing with one up. Here he is, Hugo Sanchez. What a good ball. First down shot, fine save. Lovely ball by Thomas Boy. Free kick for the push in the back on Getov. And I would suggest the first seven minutes 
of this first match in the second round has shown Mexico to be rather more an attacking side than we saw in the group and they were hindered by nerves there's no question about that Raul Savine has gone over to the right Negrete near side on the left Aguirre outside him number 13 Sanchez down the middle Boy coming square Sravkov Yordanov Sravkov Petar Petrov Gospodinov Mexicans back in numbers first time we've seen Dimitrov forward Munoz Boy Munoz contest with uh, Kostadinov a victory over Yugoslavia Important put in by Espana Kostadinov didn't like it too much get off free kick Negrete's challenge predictable reaction from the crowd Bulgarians with only two players in the area at the moment Petrov number four just outside it the defenders outnumber attackers in front of Darius Servin. Munoz. This is Felix Cruz. Sanchez in the middle. There he is, beautifully taken. Great credit to the goalkeeper again. He was at him with great pace, great determination. Well, what a lovely piece of control. Well, I feel I almost cued that in. If ever a player <laughs> was kind to a commentator, it was Sanchez there, because he just showed with that chest trap and the final shot the domination I was talking about. But also, so did Mikhailov show what an outstanding goalkeeper he is for the third time in this match. Get off flick. Dimitrov forward. Thomas Boy forces him to go back a little bit. Yordanov. Well, he sent about three letters for that pass. And they were all answered by the defender. Servin. Sanchez. Peel for handball, which it was. He didn't like the challenge from behind. He plays his football in Spain, so surely he's used to it by now for Real Madrid having previously been with uh, Bora Volotinovic at Unam typical piece of play by him the swivel, ball on left foot play it wide Servin hasn't lost the enough and not entirely sure he's got the ball the best he's going to get there is a corner and he's not going to get that Here's Aguirre, Sanchez, can turn either way. Good challenge by Dimitrov. Negrete. Aguirre, Negrete! Magnificent! What lovely control between Aguirre and Negrete and a spectacular finish. A 
and the Azteca Stadium is a mess of flags and jubilant faces. Mexico have the lead, 35 minutes gone. The man who's brought the whole stadium to life is the number 22, Manuel Negrete. Free kick and a moment to recapture the breath and as far as the spectators are concerned to sit down again and Pasha to think once more about his bruises no doubt moment of great concentration needed though by the Mexicans they can't let the beauty of that goal go to their heads delayed the free kick probably sufficiently to clear their heads Larios <laughs> dear oh dear can he make this one better changes his mind they're all over the place get off and a little conversation Goes on between two players as one Mexican spectator carries the flag around the stadium and nobody's going to stop his passage. Boy. Munoz. Munoz again. Blocked by Arabov. Bargarians want the goal kick. Thomas Boy wants the corner. After due consideration, the Brazilian referee comes down on the side of the Mexicans. Assuming that... Uh, the Mexican captain can find his way between the photographers. Good save, and Sanchez couldn't get to it. Negrete! Dimitrov, it was he who blocked the shot. He was winded, but he got up to head the ball away. The Mexicans are feeling for handball, but how do you handle a rocket which is aimed at the solar plexus? It really was well struck. Mikhailov a little lucky there, though determined to get through. That was the shot. And look at him get off the ground again to get up with the header. But certainly Bulgaria's last chance in the half. Get off, prepared to strike. Five in the area, including Dimitrov. And yet he still went for his shot. And the referee blows the whistle for half-time. And Bora makes his way to the dressing room as the crowd stand to their team, wave their flags, and delight in a score of one to nothing. The goal scored by Negrete in the 34th minute in delightful combination with Aguirre, which produced a spectacular finish. And I should remember from that half the arrogance of Hugo Sanchez throughout his total dominance of the ball, the passion of the crowd, which one can appreciate sitting here the demonstration of the arts and crafts of goalkeeping from Mikhailov in the Bulgarian goal but more than anything else the beauty of that Negretti goal which was worth the money on its own so the halftime score at the Azteca Stadium the first match of the second phase Mexico won Bulgaria nil they just changed the names of the two clubs that took part and everything went back to square one Away we go on the second half. Mexico leading by a goal to nothing, attacking the goal to our right. And the man in possession is the man who scored the goal, Negrete. And the first free kick of the half is given for the challenge on him. Skipper has gone across to take. 
and for which Munoz, Hugo Sanchez, Aguirre and Kirate have found a place in the area. Again, it's the direct shot. I don't understand the point of putting so many people forward if you're just going to press the ball against the wall. Aguirre chasing a goal kick. you might see rather more of Pashev forward. Sidakov has taken a position in midfield. Sanchez. Munoz. Boy. Savin. Nicely done. Can he find the cross? Negrete is waiting. Gospodino in the way. Left foot to curl it in again. Savine is arriving in the middle. Oh! But Munoz got there ahead of him. The two were there together. Savine was the one that came at the back. And in a way, pushed the other one onto the header. And Mexico have the insurance. 17 minutes of the second half gone. Well, Savine credited with it, which was my initial thought. But uh, Munoz seemed to me to be claiming it. The two so close together, but the fullback's arrival was timed as well as it could possibly have been. Two nothing. And here's Gospodinov fighting what must surely now be a losing cause for Bulgaria. Oh, here's Pashev. And Larios gets the congratulations. He just put his body in the way, and that was good enough. But it was no more than four yards out, and he did very well, the goalkeeper. He looks doubtful with the cross ball, but he has had his moments when he's looked a real shot stopper. The, I think the corner will be taken again because there was a certain amount of push and shove and argument. And the referee having strong words. But the flag carrier cares not a jot. Setkov. Free kick given. Bulgarians really could do with pushing more than three forward. They're adding to it four. Now it's five. They've just got to go for broke. And Yordanov. Well, he struck it well. <laughs> the goalkeeper gets enormous applause from the crowd for making a save that any 12-year-old would have been happy to make because the power of the shot wouldn't have been the same, assuming he was playing at schoolboy level. Put his body behind the ball and made the catch. Basic requirement of goalkeeping, I would have thought. Savine, the happy scorer. Passing to Munoz, who for a moment looked as though he wanted to claim the spoils. And in doing so, fooled me slightly. Felix Cruz. Thomas Boy going for the throat. It's tripped by the ankle. I'll take it, says the captain. Man who has 
eminent qualifications for the job because he was a law student before deciding that he could earn some money at football and is now debating whether at uh, his age now 33 he should go back to complete his studies after his football career has reached its end well sanchez and negrete and even servine are thinking in terms of the shot but meantime the unhappy Pashev is coming off and will be replaced by Bodidar Istrinov. So the Bulgarians have played their hand. They've used their two substitutes. And they're two down with 27 minutes of the second half gone as Sanchez takes the kick. Free his arm. Petrov. Iskrinov. Sidakov is in the middle. Nobody there. The two players tucked on the near post. Sidakov was just inside the 18 yard area. Nobody coming in from the far side. And the cross was played blind. Yordanov. Thought twice about the shot. Kostadinov. Petrov. Oh, amazing save. Absolutely amazing. Wouldn't have counted anyway, but it's worth having a look at again. The header was headed down. It took a deflection, and he turned it over the top. And how about the number of rollovers after he's made the save there? <laughs> Not injury, but uh, he gave it everything. Spaniard mm, got there, went for the challenge, didn't make it. Almost got Jordan off in. The Mexicans are mucking about a bit and could get themselves into trouble. The Bulgarians showing somewhat belated ambition there might be a few knees knocking if they could grab a goal here Gospodino Jordanov Slavkov all in the discussion Jordanov placing the ball Slavkov is behind him Three players to the left, one to the right. And it's Sadkov who's going to have the crack, and it's a good one and a good save. Again, the congratulations, and surely deserved. Yordanov. Silikov who came for it. Use of arm. Free kick. But that really was a very good stop by Pablo Larios. That's what we shall now see. Girate. Sanchez. Aguirre. Aguirre once more. Savine on the overlap. Carlos Silacobos off the crossbar. And the follow-up by Aguirre over the top. A shot from Carlos Silacobos beat the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper wonders why he wasn't given greater support. Negrete in the 34th minute. Servine with such determination coming forward from the back in the 62nd. They're the two names which will grab the headlines. Somebody in the crowd will not return the ball so that the referee can actually blow the final whistle.
to rewrite a famous phrase of 1966. They think it's all over, but it's not yet. Phrase came across in the 66 final. With one of the great lines of commentary from Kenneth Walsingham. Here's Petar Petrov. Well, the Mexican television producer is giving enough hints to the referee. But from start to finish, the Brazilian has been his own man. Refereed the game very well. Not a difficult game to referee, it should be said. Just listen to the noise from the crowd. Will we hear the whistle when it comes? Girate. Amador. Cubo lays. And here's Sidakov. The Bulgarians would have scored a few points in the other code. Their shots have nearly always gone up. Well, the match is probably the easiest part of the day for this crowd. I mean, the real hard work begins now with the celebration, which will go on. Those drums that you can hear will go on beating out that rhythm until about five or six in the morning in the center of Mexico City. I suppose there'll be something like 200,000 people there uh, making a noise, the same kind of noise that you can hear at this moment. I suppose the best thing that could be said about the Bulgarians is that the, uh, the Mexican crowd want the game over, and it is. The president stands to applaud, and all around the Azteca Stadium, Mexicans follow the lead of their president. Just look at the faces of delight. It's only a game of football, it may be said by some, but the victory means a great deal to the nation. They've done better than ever before in the World Cup. They lead the rest of the countries into the last eight with a 2-0 victory, thoroughly deserved, and giving us a spectacular goal the first one by Negrete to remember, and a goal of determination by Servine in the second half. Mexico 2, Bulgaria 0. And the crowd standing with the final applause as the players leave the Azteca Stadium with everybody enjoying the party. <laughs>